Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to all my people around the world. This is Stop By, local, regional, and international. Independent presidential candidate Pandolini Ayatollah's urgent application in which he challenged the use of EVM, which is electric voting machine, in Wednesday's election has been dismissed by Magistrate Oajo Unevi on grounds of technologies. The matter was deemed as not urgent. Also, breaking news, ACC Director General Paulus Noah said others warrant for the arrest of Saki Sanghala, James Hatu Kolipi, Thompson Fiti Hatu Kolipi, Ricardo Gustavo, and a relative of James Hatu Kolipi, plus Taxa Mawele Tolo, was still valid as we move. Speculation circulate that Mark Henry Venani will withdraw and join independent candidate Pandolini Ayatola. Well, that was rest today when Mark Henry Venani today said he will not withdraw to support any candidate. He was responding to the allegation that the PDM was joining forces with independent presidential candidate Pandolini Ayatola. If another candidate is more powerful, said McHenry, let's meet at the poll, he said. So, if you had speculation or allegation about McHenry Vanini joining up with independent candidate Pandolini Aitola, no, it didn't happen. The 62-year-old presidential candidate who live abroad in the United Kingdom has returned to his country in 2013 after spending several years in the United Kingdom. Pandaluni Philemon Bango Aitola is now a politician and vowed to be president of Nambia. He was a dentist, a lawyer, a former, well not he was but he is a dentist, a lawyer and a former chief dentist at the Katutora State Hospital, as well as a former SWAPO party school lecturer. He also had schooling in Augustinium Secondary School, and he had schooling at the University of Bristol. He was seen here at Okan Njengiri where he vowed to take the country back and smallen or minimize the government. And he said that he wouldn't need no bodyguard if he become president. As well as Mark Henry, he said he don't want no politician driving governmental vehicle they will all be issued their own vehicle and he don't want a state deputy and he don't want no it will only be two um i can't remember what he said but it's it's, it's going to be a 15 party a 50 member government that's from mark henry's side back to aitola because right now he is revving up to be the candidate to watch and he vowed that he's going to make a change in this country he's asking the president the present president Higgs to resign before he faced embarrassment now as you can see he's got the youths behind him and he's not a normal candidate he speaks several dialects plus he have schooling from abroad which brings an essence to the party and to the new fresh faces who is on his side right now um i don't know much about you know 
what's really going on but i'm bringing you as much as i know this is stop by share like and comment and don't forget to subscribe this will be one of the most electrifying election in nambia because this is the time for change in this country share like and comment Port, brother. Yeah.